Hi guys, um, welcome back to the AUSD podcast. I am Sarah Moreno. I'm Blanca Garcia. I'm Suhaidi Lopez. And today we have a special guest with us again. My name is Laura Clark. I'm the Community Schools Program Specialist for Azusa High School. Yay! Um, so to, we had well, last week we didn't have a podcast episode because it was Thanksgiving break, but now we're back. And today's icebreaker question is, what's your favorite Christmas song? Last Christmas. <laughs> Last Christmas, I gave you my Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's my favorite, too. Yeah. Mine is a song called Christmas Wrapping by oh. the Motels. Oh, I've never oh, heard, of, heard it. of it. It's an oldie. Oh, oh. okay, okay. <laughs> what's yours, Sarah? Um, does it, I don't know. Oh, um, Miss Hotel by Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, we're glad to have you here with us. Thank um, you. We have some questions we'd like to ask you. Um, I don't, yeah. Oh, okay. I can't pull it up. <clears throat> okay, so first we're going to start with some fun facts. So what are three fun facts about yourself? Ooh, interesting. I didn't expect that question. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Um, three fun facts. One, I have been river rafting down the Grand Canyon um, four times. That's four uh, weeks that I've done it over some pretty crazy wild rapids, and it was awesome and amazing. I was a little kid, and I was a grown-up, and all in between, so so super fun. You said the Grand Canyon? Mm-hmm. In my head, like, the Grand Canyon is a desert. I always thought it was like the Grand Canyon. Canyon. Wait, is it not a desert? No. No, she said she just. (laughs) just, (laughs) The Colorado River made the Grand Canyon. So the Colorado River cut the canyon. That's why it's so deep. It's at the bottom. You can barely see it from the top. Oh, okay. Fun fact two um, I played clarinet in marching band in high school. (laughs) Yukaipa High School. I won't say what year I graduated because it was a long time ago. (laughs) And third fun fact. I have an Airstream trailer, and I love to go camping all the time. Every chance, every break we get, I go camping. Mm, Where do you go camping? I love everything, the beach, the desert, the mountains. But for Thanksgiving, I went out to the desert because it's beautiful this time of year. Yeah, Yeah, it is. Okay, so uh, next, what are your favorite things about working in the AUSD? I know this sounds like a, a stock answer, that this is what everybody says, but it's really honest, the truth the students and the families, 100%. I know that sounds, but I've been offered jobs in other districts. I've, you know, higher pay elsewhere, whatever, but I just can't imagine leaving this place. I love this community. How long have you been working for the USD? <laughs> A very long time. Tw- this is my 29th year. Oh, almost 30. <laughs> <Next> yeah. <year>. <laughs> 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 um, uh, next question. Um, what was your high school experience like? Mm, that's a great question. I actually liked high school a lot. I did not like middle school. Middle school was a nightmare. <laughs> I hated it. It was horrible. Um, but high school was fun. I had great friends. I was really involved. Um, I just had fun. I tried to get, you know, as many experiences as I could, and I just thought it was fun. Like I said, I was in marching band. I was in yearbook. Um, and then I just liked to play with, around with my friends and hang out. Yeah, that sounds that's fun. Good. Um, what are your thoughts? Oh, this is really, this is getting really deep. No, <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts about the district wanting to be a charter district? I am not excited about that. Um, I really feel that resources um, should be brought into our schools, not taken away from our mm-hmm. schools. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Yeah, so what are some things you do for AUSD? Oh, like in my current position? Yeah. 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 So community schools is really hard to describe. In fact, even when I was applying for the job, when I got the job, I kept having to read and read and read to try to figure out what it is. So I'll try to explain it as best as I can. But community schools is a strategy that started back in New York um, years ago, like in the 70s. And it was it's really about meeting the needs of the community within the school so that students, we can improve teaching and learning, but also improve everything for the community um, Mm -hmm. as much as we can and making the school the heart and like the hub of that work. And so 
Um, it started in, I believe it was Harlem, I want to say. And so other school districts over the years have started implementing this. Our district applied for a grant. We got a fi over $15 million grant. And yeah, pretty awesome to put community schools at every one of our schools. The only schools that don't get it are Longfellow and Sierra, and that's because the grant had a minimum number of students that have to attend that school oh. to be eligible, so that's why. Um, so each of our schools has a person in my position, which is a program specialist and a liaison to help the school become a community school. And it's what that means is, is that we have to find out what our community needs first. So we're doing student surveys this week. We're doing start doing those on Friday. We've been trying to get parents to fill out their surveys. It has not been successful. Really? Yeah. I've heard I've heard a lot of people talking about it. You have? Yeah, like oh well, I've heard people like, oh yeah, we should we should fill out those surveys. Oh really? Yeah, like my mom was talking about it the other day. She's like, Oh yeah, we need to get involved. She was like asking really? because they were giving out um flyers. Yes. Yeah, and she got one and she was oh, she good. was gonna do the survey. I hope so. We have to get a minimum of 75% of our students, 75% of our staff, and 75% of our parents um, to participate so we can figure out what our problems and, and ask, well, assets, what the good things are, and then what the challenges are that we need mm -hmm. to address. But mm -hmm. so far, we have less than 4% of our parents who have responded, and it's already been a couple weeks. So I'm feeling very nervous. I had a parent um, focus meeting yesterday afternoon, and not one parent showed up. So... I'm a little discouraged, so I'm hoping that we get more yeah. parent engagement yeah. and more people participating because our advisory council, which is comprised of students, parents, staff, and community members, like our mayor is on it, mm -hmm. um, some other people from the community from the Zusa Library, um, we, are, we take a look at that data and the information that we've gathered from the students, the staff, and the parents to determine, okay, here are our priorities, and then we need to address those things. And so some of the big things about community schools are shared leadership and shared power. Mm -hmm. So it's not about me. In fact, what I'm supposed to kind of do is work myself out of a job so that once Azusa High is a true community school with true shared leadership, resources for to meet all the needs, all mm -hmm. the infra infrastructure, making sure things are working for everybody, I step away. I'm gone mm -hmm. because then it's rolling without me. Mm -hmm. So it's not about me. It's about the work that we all do together. So we need everyone's feedback. We need everybody's help to get that done. So that's the step that you're on right now? Like all yes. the surveys, like all the feedback that you guys need? Exactly. So the students are taking it Friday? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And what I, ideally, I would like to talk to all the students yeah. um, because filling out a survey is not always the you know, mm -hmm. yeah. the best way to understand. I mean, I can learn, but I won't necessarily understand um, exactly what a student is trying to express. Mm -hmm. But it's the best we can do right now. And I'm hoping to um, put together some student focus groups in February. Um, I know right now it's the end of the semester. Or the, uh, yeah, semester. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And so it's not a good time for that kind of thing. So I'm hoping I want to, like, hear student voices also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's different when it's, like, a survey because... Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, some people just... Survey. Some people just don't just take it and they're like, okay, whatever. Yeah. yeah. 100%, yeah. So what changes would you like to be seen in schools? Wow, that's, that's great. First of all, I would love to make, to see... Everyone feeling connected, everyone feeling a part of it, and everyone feeling like they have a purpose, that they belong, that, they're, that, that they are needed, wanted, appreciated, and are integral to what we're doing. So, and that's not just for students. That's for staff and parents. That's for everybody. I want mm -hmm. everyone to feel like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great place for them to be, which, hopefully, it would make sense, would affect attendance. You know, student attendance is pretty bad. It's, yeah. it's, not, yeah. it's not so good. So if people feel connected and that they have a purpose, they'll want to be here. So, yeah. um, so in that ideal school, um, the, the learning, the education that the students receive would be really active and involved. It wouldn't just be, you know, someone standing at the front giving a lecture. It yeah. would be real hands-on, real-life, real-world learning, real collaboration, um, yeah. real, real meaningful to bring, you know, students to want to be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, do you have any questions for us? Not yeah. You know what? I will take advantage of this moment <laughs> by asking questions that I will be asking in my parent focus group this afternoon. I hope someone shows up. That would be great. Um, but I will ask you three questions, and each of you need to answer. Are you willing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Question number one is, what do you love or like about this school? Um, I start? Okay. Yeah. Um, what I like or love about this school? 
I'd say, like, one of the recent things that I liked was, like, the community circles that we were doing. I think it's fun to, like, other people, to see other people open, like, themselves to, like, the questions we have. Um, and I also like how I feel like in, like, some way, like, people try to have each other's back, even though, like, we don't show it to each other. I feel like we do care about each other in a way. I feel like if we were put in that situation where, like, one of the pe- like one of our, like, peers or, like, classmates was, like, being, like, like, if something bad was happening, I feel like we would all, like, be there for each other mm-hmm. in a way. I agree. I see that. Um... Can it be, like, outside of, like, the classroom? Or? Okay. Um, I would say I really like our campus. Like, mm. I really like it. I like the trees. I like when it's raining and you can just, like, see it's, like, misty. And it gets really pretty. Um, I like uh, all the new paint that's been done. I think it just makes us, like, be, like, oh, yeah, like, proud of our school and, like, where, where we're going and stuff. So, yeah. Um, for me, recently, education-wise, I think the teachers have been, like, really involved in getting kids to like understand it better so that's what I really like about this school the teachers seem more focused on the kids getting it than them just coming to work and like doing it for you know the money and stuff that's awesome I think I'd like to add something um also like the programs we have been getting like all the new new programs we have like the ECP program that was added to us even though it was the last one I feel like uh it really helps the students like we've been talking about this like for a while now, how it helps the students um, really figure out what they want to do. So that's something I really love about mm-hmm. the school. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. And that was one of the ideas behind blending the schools. I know a lot of people were not happy about that, but that you have more resources when mm-hmm. you kind of bring them together. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay, question number two. I bet you can guess what it is. What do you think needs to change about Azusa High School? Um, Let's go this way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, well, let me think about this. Um, well, for one, I think it was, like, the second day of school, there was a fight, and the violence over, like, the merging and the contrast of both schools, you know, it just it doesn't make some people feel safe. Um, I, I feel personally safe in this school, but there's some kids who, you know, would feel otherwise because it just some kids get targeted for no reason and, yeah, stuff like that. Um, I think... Um, definitely the violence. I think the violence has calmed down now. Mm-hmm. I think it's just, like, regular high school drama that, like, you see. But it does happen once in a while where it's just, like, a little a little sketchy. Like, some, some groups just walking around together. And it's just kind of, like, all, like, the securities are, like, the radios are all going off. And I think the heavy presence of, like, security helps. But, I don't know, sometimes it makes, it, makes us even more aware of, like, how dangerous our yeah. school is sometimes. Um, I'd say, like, the lack of school spirit there is. I feel oh, yeah, like bro. we need a lot, of, like, more school spirit. Because, like, I see other schools and they're, like, mm-hmm. they participate in spirit week and, like, they're, like, so colorful and cheery and stuff. But us, we're, like, boring. <laughs> yeah. We're not like, that. I mean, ASB has been going out of their like, way. They're to definitely help. better this year. Like, yeah. they're trying, but I feel like, like, the ones who are not trying are, like, certain students who just don't, like, see the purpose of the mm-hmm. school spirit. But, like, I feel like there is a purpose because, like, it makes us feel, like, happy. I don't yeah. know. You know? Yeah. We were missing that, like, cheerfulness. Yeah, because cause mm-hmm. last year, the, what was it, the the rally, the, the night one, the night rally? Yeah. I don't know what it's called. It's, like, Chaos. chaos yeah yeah chaos and they just do those like big like two hour long rally where we like but like last year they oh, didn't yeah, have no a lot of people up. show up it was like some seniors that like you know want to do their senior things before they graduate and then some sophomores but like there's like a good thousand students and like i think a hundred kids showed up maybe was that azusa or gladstone azusa, azusa yeah. here yeah. oh wow yeah so i think like it's been better this year. Like mm-hmm. I'll say, it's been better this year. Yeah, but like was homecoming was really full and fun. Yeah, yeah, homecoming was packed. So mm-hmm. it's definitely getting better. Mm-hmm. My last question is very similar to one you asked me. So what would be your vision for this high? What would you, like, wish for us? Uh, oh, sorry. Um, I'd see, I guess, like, for everybody, like you said, to feel included or, like like, to feel like, I guess... 
like we're all in this together <laughs> like we um like a big like i'd say like a family like a community where like we are able to rely on each other and like there's not just like certain little groups mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. and like that we're able to like, express ourselves like more to each like to our classmates and not feel scared that we'll get like um, what was the word? Like, really judged? Yeah, judged and stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, for me, I think, like, I think it's so cool when I see, like, a, a high school, like, running some type of, like, food drive or something. And I know we've done it before, but that was mostly, like, clubs running those food drives. And I, I think, it, like, one way that I'd know that, like, we've, like, achieved what we want as a community school is, like, to be able to, like, go out into our communities and, like, as a school, like, help our community. Yeah. Um, the future, I think also, like, what Sarah said, coming together with this merge that happened, you know, it kind of, like, separated some people because they don't want to get involved with the rivalry school, stuff like that. But I think I've seen a lot of people, like, get to know each other from different schools and, like, it's it's better like that. I want to see more friendships happening and all that and, like, the separating into different groups, like she said, it's not, like, something, you know, you'd want to see. Yeah. I've got to say that this is my first, well, I actually taught at Azusa High um, a very long time ago, um, just for a few months. But I, So I, I was here just for a short amount of time, about six months. But um, this is my first time being here back again. Mm-hmm. And all the concern and worry and anxiety about the merge and what it's going to be like. And I've actually been kind of happily surprised by how smooth it has gone and how you know like you said the first couple days was a little Mm -hmm. you know interesting but um after that it seems like it's going well yeah Yeah. I feel like I feel like there's still like those like Glassville people who only hang out with like Glassville and Mm -hmm. stuff but you can't really see it because they're like still talking to like their classmates like I have friends that like used that used to go to Glassville and now they're here and like I'd say hi to them like in the hallways and stuff but, like, it's not, like, that I would, like, really, like, talk to them. Like, I feel like we're still a little, like, getting used to being with everybody. It's yeah. definitely better than, like, we imagined because everybody mm. was like, oh, my God, like, we should move schools. Like, it's going to be scary. My pa- my parents definitely wanted us. They are like, are you going to go to school there next year? Like, are you sure? They're like, yeah. They're, and it's been fine. They say it's fine. So Yeah, not only the students but the teachers that came from Gladstone, they've been really helpful too. Yeah. Like, for example, Miss Jenny from the medical field. Mm. I really like her as a teacher, and I think, like, that program in general is going places. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah. So? How much time is it? It is 1.12. Oh. Okay, so I guess this is the end. I, I hope you liked talking to us we like talking to you mm-hmm. um thank you i did i would love to come back um in a little while and give you some updates and let you know how yeah, yeah, how yeah. things are going and how the assessment's going and what our priorities and what we found out and talking about our data i would love to be invited back so yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always welcome. Um, all right thank you <laughs> all right. um thank you for listening um yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah.